I have been watching the news this morning and one of the conclusions I've reached is that America has a fucked up in the head politician problem. So we have all these politicians that take polls and they know the polls matter. I follow the polls. Trust me, I'm following the people. The people agree with me. Um, politicians like Greg Abbott. He knows everyone's for the Second Amendment. I got to fake like I'm for the Second Amendment. I'm the person who is 100% certain that this guy's not crazy. I'm the person that's an intelligence person from Texas. I have the Texas police that are part of the intelligence community. I'm 100% certain how much we have the Hill Country staked out. We're after the drug labs. Wait, the feds are. I know they're out there. I know this guy's a part of the drug labs. I know that he's warned everyone about COVID-19. I'm against, uh, but okay, so when Greg Abbott's the person that knows about COVID-19, does his behavior make you think that Greg Abbott's trying to kill people? I am 100% certain that if I was a Mexican and I uh, was watching Greg Abbott's response to the situation and I knew Greg Abbott was 100% in on it, like I'm talking about the drugs and everything, that I would think Greg, Greg Abbott's trying to kill us. He's, 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 he's for, he's against abortion. He's for killing people with COVID-19. And what's my opinion on that? I don't really care. Like if, 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 like if COVID-19 kills enough people because Greg Abbott and all these other people are like censoring to make sure people die, then, um, my opinion is that like we could ban abortion. I, I think adoption is a great option. I think we could come up with like a, an incredible support system for the women so that their children survive. Um, and, um, I definitely think we could put together a system where like the woman, if she's, um, facing a situation where she's going to have to have an abortion, um, has, has a counselor come in that says, Hey, financially we can help you out in this situation, especially if she's a smart person. Like if she's like a proven intellectual woman, like if she's like a, she's, she's a person that's like proven academically, we should probably just like help her have the kid. Um, so, um, am I against abortion? I'm against abortion. Doesn't mean I think it should be illegal. Um, I, uh, personally think that uh, I'm in, I'm in the same situation as Greg Abbott where like, I think COVID-19 is going to kill enough people. Um, we can just, well, I, I'm actually trying to fight COVID-19 though. That's a difference. I'm pro-life in the COVID-19 department. Ken Paxton, he's keeping everything secret because he doesn't know anything about Baylor. The lab there, oh, he's not from it. That's the thing, like I haven't figured out if Ken Paxton's against the drugs or for the drugs. Um, I think that um, the government of Texas is very confused about whether or not they're against the drugs or for the drugs. Um, personally, I think they're probably for moving the drugs out of the country. They're for the United States economy. So, Pete Buttigieg, he says that inflation is very difficult to combat. People don't understand, like once inflation happens, um, it's really hard to stop it. Yeah, that's what I said to Obama. Not really. I wasn't smart enough. My opinion was, don't make inflation happen. Always. My opinion has always been fight inflation with the economy. Never fight for the stock market. Never make sure Elon Musk is so freaking rich. All he has to do is just buy Twitter. And then suddenly he controls all the information that's flowing through. And hopefully, Elon would just put a computer in charge of it. But he couldn't. He has to have moderators. But at some point, like, Twitter I don't blame as much for kicking me off. Uh, they kicked me off for being anti-Jewish, and then they kicked me off for um, um, warning Prince Harry that the intelligence community might assassinate him for spying on Americans. They didn't think I was actually part of the intelligence community. All right, so according to, like, I've been watching CNN this morning, and Russian-backed radio station spreads propaganda in two cities. So they want to ban the Russian media in the United States. They want to make it so that the United States citizens cannot actually watch the Russian media. We are not legally allowed to, well, I guess we'd still be legally allowed to try to access the Russian media. Maybe we could get a, get a, um, get a VPN and then we can access the Russian media from another country. It sure seems like CNN is for, um, preventing Americans from being able to hear what our enemy is saying. And um, in my opinion, that's something that um, Hitler would do. Hitler wouldn't want any of his citizens to hear what the, what the Americans are saying about him. They, Hitler doesn't want anyone to know about his final solution. Hitler doesn't want anyone to know about what, what his government 
has done to maintain his power. He wants to keep it all secret. That's why he has secret police. That's why he does everything in secret, because he's Hitler. And so um, I think that um, Americans don't fully get how much they are falling into the fascist narrative um, that Russia's putting out there. I'm trying to stop the Americans. The Americans ha are, are, are like arming the Ukrainians too much. And uh, so like I saw in the news, uh, 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 like $800 million worth of uh, weapons just arrived in Ukraine today. <laughs> Actually, it arrived like weeks ago, and everyone's pissed off that they put it all in Mariupol because Mariupol is getting the shit kicked out of it. And they like put all their eggs in one basket, but they didn't. But all right, so there's an Air Force vet that's saying the big tech um, is facing a serious censorship problem because they censored her for like absolutely nothing. And that's what Fox News is talking about is like how an Air Force vet got censored telling her story on LinkedIn and it was a technical reason that she got censored. So um, I think the reality about Fox News reporting on stories like that is I feel like Fox News is probably in on the COVID-19 thing too. Because like when you watch such a large amount of people that are behaving in such a suspicious way um, when they're like, I mean, like, I don't know how, like, how to explain it any better. Like, you guys behave so suspicious. And that's why I think the media needs to like go, okay, absent from the government, I need to talk because like, I need to actually do something about this because we are in danger. I mean, seriously, like, if I was a person in the media, like, my understanding is Jay Tapper's not in on it. And, like, if I, but he's in Ukraine. <laughs> well, well, send the guy that's not in on it to Ukraine. Fuck that guy. <laughs> that's what I always think when the people are in Ukraine. I'm like, those are the people everyone hates. 